Hey there, everybody. Happy Farmovation Friday. Today, we're going to talk about return on investment or ROI. What is that? Um, and it really boils down to that question of the with them. What's in it for me? So today during Farmovation Friday, we're going to explore how to communicate an ROI so that you can get what you want. So welcome to Connector Dots. I'm Kimber Booth. I am your host and strategic pharmacy coach and consultant. I share these connector dots, which I call my brief candid insights on healthcare, pharmacy, and life for connectors and pharmavators. So this week, I've had the pleasure of being a judge for business plan presentations for the pharmacy practice advancement course at the University of Cincinnati. I am so impressed by the thoughtful identification of the needs and problems and their innovative solutions that they have come up with and presented uh, with their uh, business plans, multi-year plans, it's all very exciting. An important topic that deserves to be highlighted is how do you share that ROI or return on investment? You know, I try to boil this down to the WIFM in terms of practical terms, because I think what, what happens is we hear this term ROI, it sounds very financial, like you have to be an accountant. And, and yes, numbers are important, but at the end of the day, I think it's also important that we are sharing. So the person who's gonna potentially buy your product, invest in your service, or approve uh, the resources that you wanna add, like, you know, I like to add um, new positions or justify new technology. So whoever is going to uh, approve that, they need to know what's in it for them. And that equates financially to the ROI. So some key points I want to highlight regarding return on investment and how you think about it with anything that you're trying to justify is that any request or a business plan should calculate that ROI for the decision maker who's going to invest or improve your plan, right? So it's not for you personally. Uh, it's for them to know. So whoever's going to approve it or invest, they have to know that there is a positive return. So what is the official definition? So when you look at like Investopedia or other documents and you look at officially what is the return on investment, it is that an ROI tries to directly measure the benefit of an investment relative to the cost of the investment. And that benefit is termed the return. So what you get in terms of a calculation is that you get the benefit or return of the investment divided by the cost of the investment. So it's usually a percentage. And of course, if it's more than 100%, you are going to be positive in terms of your return compared to your investment. And you can look at that in terms of how many years it is. Um, ideally, it's wonderful if you can get that return in the first year, but that's not always possible and the long term benefits may make it worthwhile. I also do like to talk about this in terms of the actual number, the actual dollars of the return. That may not be the appropriate, you know, like accounting or finance perspective, but you know, it's one thing to say the percentage, but if you can say how much money you're going to save somebody or how much additional revenue you're going to bring in, um, in terms of that, um, the delta in terms of the expense versus uh, what you're bringing in. So what are the sources of ROI? Well, there's a lot and I'd like to explore all of them, but it really boils down to two areas. You can really either bring in more revenue or you can create savings or expense reductions. So most of what you look at in terms of these potential sources, and again, I like to cover uncover every rock for potential ROI as we're looking to advance pharmacy practice, uh, and to you know, ultimately save money for our healthcare system. So there are also though benefits that are not financially tangible. And those type of uh, intangible benefits can be things that are quality improvement, that it is hard to put a specific finger on how many uh, people are benefiting. So by, by looking at that, um, I've definitely been involved with getting such business plans approved uh, to, to um, create something that is not uh, a positive ROI in terms of financial, but that there is a quality improvement um, aspect to it. I'm just making sure you guys can see me. 
Yes. Okay, great. So again, ideally you have two sources of ROI when you're going to look at something financially, anything you can do to equate something that's more quality into some type of a financial benefit that is helpful. And sometimes there's going to be hard dollars or like real actual money. And sometimes it's going to be softer dollars, cost avoidance and things. Um, all of it's important. Um, you're more likely to get it approved with real hard savings or revenue, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't include it. So keep those things in mind when you're looking at that revenue, look at those real dollars that you can bring in, billing insurance, looking at your payer mix, um, different sources and types of returns uh, or services that you can provide, remote patient monitoring and different types of ambulatory services are definitely a big opportunity that I've been exploring lately. Of course, um, billing for ambulatory visits themselves of, amongst those different types. Uh, Value-based payments when it comes uh, to both the penalty side and the, and the um, upside of value-based payments, you know, that can kind of hit both on the revenue side or the saving side. Ultimately, you're going to net bring in more money to the organization if you're improving the quality. So that can definitely be a source of ROI. Uh, and then your savings, you know, decreasing costs. Obviously, if we can decrease our drug budgets, um, that is positive. I've definitely done plans where we have reallocated positions to um, from other departments to pharmacy because that was the more appropriate resource to do things, such as making sure we have a technician to do medication histories. Uh, so keep all of that in mind. These are just some of the different potential sources of ROI but why whenever you're going to present something. And of course, I, I do encourage you to go to my blog. Um, if you go to um, where I talk about strategic plans, there it is important to put together an executive summary for a business plan, which shows your bottom line return on investment upfront. So thanks for joining me today. Happy Pharmavation Friday. Um, please join me for future connector dots. and. Remember to go to connector dots, uh, kimberbooth.com slash dots to sign up to get access to this library and to be updated when I'm going live uh, in the future. I usually do this um, during the weeks, uh, usually around five o'clock for covering the different topics through connector dots. So thanks so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Be bold, be a connector, advanced healthcare and pharmacy practice. Take care.